loves welcome back to a new video on my channel in today's video i basically want to vlog so today is saturday and we have an afternoon tea plant at harvey nichols so i just wanted to take you along with us show you what it looks like i've never done it before i've never been so i wanted to film the experience and show you guys maybe someone else is interested to go and they'd like to see what kind of food they serve so i just want to take you along with us and show you what the experience is like and then tomorrow i have another really exciting day planned with one of my best friends we're gonna go have ramen at this really cool ramen place somewhere close to oxford street so i'll take you along and show you what that experience is like as well so we're kind of running late so i need to make the introduction quite brief but i am ready i've got my coat on so i'm already wearing my coat and i'm not going to take it off just to show you the outfit but i'm wearing this dress from karen miller and it's super old the shirt is again it's a white frilly shirt from miss pop and i've had it for a really long time on top i'm wearing this coat from zara this white trench coat and then I'm wearing my Burberry scarf. And then in terms of shoes, I'm going to be wearing a suede pair of knee-high boots that have kind of a block heel. And yeah, that's my outfit for now. And in terms of my hair, I basically curled it with the headless curlers that I keep talking about on my channel, the ones from Kitsch. And this side came out a tiny bit more droopy than the other side. And this side, but I still think the results are really good. I haven't hairsprayed them just because I don't have any hairspray at home. So I think they're going to drop massively when I go outside, especially if it's windy, because I think it's quite windy today. Um, so they will drop significantly throughout the day, but I'm really pleased with the results. And for no heat, I think these are amazing results. And yeah, I think if I had hairspray, they would probably last a lot longer. But my hair was super greasy last night and I didn't get the chance. I was doing other things and I didn't get the chance to wash it and I don't like to wash my hair on the day that I'm going out if it's really cold outside because I'll catch a cold it's such a superstitious thing to say but yeah so this is what my hair looks like and then on my lips I'm wearing the Sephora lip stain in 01 which is my favorite go-to red lipstick it's a liquid lipstick so if you're into more glossy lipsticks maybe it's not a good choice but in terms of a liquid lipstick that's quite dry and matte this is honestly my favorite red lipstick and it's super affordable as well I think it retails for around 11 or 12 pounds and it lasts forever so yeah that's a little bit of an introduction we're just gonna get going now and i'll take you guys along with us i probably won't film too much today mostly just the experience rather than what we get up to but yeah let's go so we made it to harvey nichols and as you come out of the station this is basically the first thing you see and then harvey nichols yeah. So our food arrived and this is what it looks like. So we have the sandwiches at the bottom and then we've got some scum and then this is where you get the dessert. And I'll show you a little bit of play. That's turmeric bread. So we have salmon, we have normal bread and cucumber, then we have the move around. This one is turmeric bread and then the charcoal bread and egg. And then we also have a little spinach quiche. And then these are raisin scones with some jam and cream. And then I'm not sure what the this quiche is super delicious. I wasn't a big fan of the sandwich with the salmon. I thought the bread wasn't amazing, but I've still got these ones to try. And my boyfriend said that he really likes the turmeric one, so I'll probably try that one as well. But the quiche was really, really nice. So we just finished having afternoon tea at Harvey Nichols, and it was actually quite nice. It was really nice. But I wouldn't rate it highly, to be completely honest. It was somewhere between a 5 and a 6. I gave it a 5, my boyfriend gave it a 6. Um, the sandwiches weren't all that. I think my favourites out of everything were the desserts. They had this really nice lime and I think either marshmallow or meringue um, dessert that was really nice. So I really, really enjoyed that. But apart from that, it wasn't, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. I've, had, I've definitely had worse. So yeah, I would say it was quite average. <laughs> I've already inserted footage of what the food looked like and yeah, would, would we do it again? So we, the, basically the way we did it is we received a buy a gift voucher and then we bought it using that voucher. So for the two people it was £50, which I think 
it's not too bad but and i think originally if you were to book it yourself it was around 39 pounds per person for the same deal or 35 i think it was 35 actually would you want to would you do it again Maybe. yeah i personally wouldn't do it again and my boyfriend wouldn't do it again either so that's basically this the situation but i'll catch up with you guys later and we were just walking around and we came across this which is ilan and they have a really nice instagram wall decor um and they've got really nice looking food and stuff like that it's not the best tasting but it's really nice if you want something instagrammable and this is what this area looks like i've never been here before i don't think but yeah this is what Ilan looks like and it's super cute and pink love it i've been there a couple of times i've never been to the nice bridge one but i have been to the one in oxford street we just discovered this little road i didn't catch the name of it but it looks super cute to walk on i've got a waivers and then the bus on that side and then a few shops let me see that love the look of this the fine cheese company mm -hmm. it's giving I me tiffany the, vibes i love the color of it yeah it's like I breakfast at tiffany this is such a pretty area to walk around and just taking all the views all the key homes there's a couple of embassies around here i think if my footage is quite shaky that's because i'm wearing heels so maybe my balance isn't that great so I just wanted to check in quickly with you guys. I'm going to end the vlog here. I know it hasn't been much for today, but I just wanted to vlog the experience. I wanted to show you what the afternoon tea was like in case you're ever interested to go there. And I'll pick it back up again tomorrow because I'm going out again to another place and I want to film that too. And I don't really have much to show you now. We're just walking around. We're on our way to Victoria. We're just walking there. And yeah, after that, we're gonna head home and just go on with our usual tasks for the day and I'll pick back up tomorrow hi my love so today is a new day today is Sunday and I've just gotten dressed to go meet my friend like I mentioned yesterday we're going to this ramen place in London or close to Oxford Circus so I just want to take you along with me and I realized I'm already dressed and I'm also running quite late why am I always running late in my vlogs? I think I need to work on my time management. Well, technically I'm not running late for our um, reservation, but I wanted to get there earlier to do a couple of bits. So I think I'm running late for those. But yeah, I've basically already put my outfit on. So what I'll do is I filmed the reel of me putting on my outfit, which is what I do on Instagram. So what I'll do is I'll just put that reel on the screen so you can see what I'm wearing today. But essentially is a turtleneck from Zara, um, a pair of black, formal trousers from Stradivarius, they're straight leg, a pair of pointy ankle boots, suede pointy ankle boots, this coat from Zara that I had yesterday as well is quite textured and it's oversized and white. I'm wearing my Burberry scarf again and then I'm also wearing this blazer, a black crop blazer from Zara as well. And in terms of bags, I think I'm going to take my uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy because I need a bag that will hold my camera and when I moved out of my parents' home, I kind of got rid of most of my bags. So I don't really have that many big bags, especially big bags because I don't really need a big bag and I've got really small bags. So my camera doesn't fit in those, so I think I'll have to take my Speedy, which I actually posted a story on my Instagram saying, does anyone remember the Speedy era? Because I feel like the Speedy from Louis Vuitton used to be so... Is he even the Speedy? I think it's the Speedy. Is that what it's called? Anyway, but those bags, I think it's a Speedy, that everyone used to wear many years ago and I haven't worn mine in about three years, so today would probably be the first time I'm taking it out, so it feels a bit ancient, I feel like a dinosaur, but yeah, I remember when everyone was obsessed with them. And for me, mine personally is a bit sentimental because my parents got it for me, I think when I turned quite an important age, I think maybe when I was 18, and I don't really want to resell it because of the emotional value that it has, but at the same time, I still don't wear it at all. Like, for instance, if I'm going to use it today, it's my first time in three years. So, um, yeah, but I just thought that was quite funny because I feel like with designer items, sometimes they're in trend, but then you kind of, if they're not in trend anymore, then you have to sell them on because otherwise you're at a loss if you just keep them in your wardrobe, which I feel like is the most pointless thing. But for me, because it's an emotional purchase, I feel like I can't really let go of it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go into London, meet my friend, and I'll show you guys 
the place where we're going to. I'm not sure if I'm going to do much vlogging today because I just want to catch up with her and enjoy my time with her. But I do want to show you guys what the place looks like, the menu, what we're ordering and just give you kind of a little review of whether I think the food is worth it or not. So yeah, let's go. I'm here, I made it. This is what the outside looks like. And they've also got an outdoor sitting area. And I'm just about to go in. Oh, oh my gosh, this is a heavy door. Oh. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. Really nice and cozy. So this is the one we got, it's the Kuma Moto Tonkatsu and this is what it looks like, I haven't tried it yet but it looks delicious and then I got the chicken carriage. Should we have this first? Yeah true. I started getting cold. Also, no, don't eat it. It's just spicy. I didn't know. So I forgot to ask. I don't think so. Well, it's garlic. It shouldn't be. Garlic no. and spice doesn't really go. Or maybe the garlic is making it a bit spicy. Oh no, my phone broke. No, I'm just gonna. The chicken bun was so good, absolutely loved it. It's a tiny bit spicy, and I don't eat spicy food, so I can feel it a tiny bit now. But it was really good. Did you like your pork? Yeah, it was really good. My friend is filming for me. Um, thank you so much, by the way. Um, so we just finished up at the ramen place and it was absolutely delicious. I really loved the taste of it. I think it was really nice and authentic. Um, the dish that we got was really nice as well. And we also got the buns. The buns were really nice as well. Mine was a tiny bit spicy and I'm not the biggest fan of spice, but I did really like that one. So yeah, all in all, it was a really experience and I would recommend it. I'm probably going to go back. And in terms of pricing, it wasn't too bad either. So yeah, that's really nice. And now we're just gonna go makeup shopping. We're going to make up something for my friend. I feel like I'm speaking too fast. I'm going to make up shopping with my friend because we haven't done that in ages. And yeah, we're really excited. We're going to go to um, John Lewis because they've got like a few makeup counters. We're going to try and look for a space in K, maybe a boots, and maybe selfridges as well because they've got a really good makeup section. So yeah.